Crafty friends, I have something special for you if you love Stampin' Up! color collections. You get to sample all of these colors all at once, full sheets of cardstock, and I only do this once a year. This is a labor of love for my customers. Hello, my name is Kimberly Smith. I'm a U.S. Stampin' Up! demonstrator. If you're new to my channel, I teach about Stampin' Up! products, how to create cards. I teach about the Brother Scan and Cut. So smash that like button if you like my channel, which I hope you do if you're a crafty person. What I'm about to do is share the, all the color collections. If you sign up for my cardstock share, you're going to get 55 sheets of every one of each color of our Stampin' Up! cardstock. Real quick, I'll just tell you the names of the collections and then go ahead and put in the comments which one you'd like to see first. I'll just open up the bags and show you because these are accounted for. And after that, I won't have any cardstock to show you because I'm not sure what I can still get. But you will get an almost complete cardstock share if you sign up today. All right, so I have the Brights collection. This is my personal favorite. I have the new in colors plus the returning in colors. In colors, I N, the name in colors. They last for two years. We just, these are the colors coming out May 1st. These are the colors that have one more year. I put them all in the same bag. So there's our color collections. Okay, we have Subtles. Maybe my least favorite. <laughs> but you still need them, right? They're, they, they play an important role. All right? They play an important role. And then we have our regals, which are pretty deep colors. Like, I really love these because especially at Christmas time, like, I mean, these are my favorite holiday ones, but also they're just deep and rich. And I rich, like, just think rich regals, like regal, like, like royal. Okay. And then of course we have our neutrals, which are very useful. This is a very useful collection. We have our neutrals because they go with almost anything. And then we have our boring basics, but we got to have basics. We need them for our cards. I'm not, they're not really boring, but we need them too. So which would you like to see first? And thank you for coming on. I'm just going to uh, take the first vote. Yes, I have openings, Kelly. So join in. So go to the link right down there. I'm pointing. If you're on a TV, you might not see this. But I'm pointing right now. My finger's pointing at these three dots. They're a little ellipses, right? Click on the three dots, and I put it in the first link. Paper Chefs Clubs and Offerings. It's also on this website here paperchef.stampinup.net, which is my store if you want to buy all the cardstock. But you could sample it for one low price. It includes shipping and everything's included. But you must be in the U.S. Right? So she's, you're opening yours, right? Awesome. She is, Sheila's saying she's opening. So let me know what color collection. I'm going to say hi to who's here. Would you like to see neutrals, regals, subtles, in colors, or brights? And I will open up each bag. And then... Sheila said she already got hers. I did start this already for my VIPs. If you're not on my mailing list, please go and sign up for the mailing list. You'll be notified of these things. And I'm going to still be able to get cardstock, just not at all, right? I can't get every color anymore because some things have sold out. But I was able to get all the colors for this first round, which is pretty cool. So we have uh, Hello Hilda, Massey, nice to see you. And Don Klein, nice to see you. And Kelly Stoller who's already asked a question, which I answered, and Sheila has, has her cardstock share, and she is opening as I speak, so you can open it and go along with me. All right, I'm going to just start with my least favorite because I'm not getting any votes, and I'm just going to start with Petal Pink. So what I'm going to do is show you each color, and they're all labeled right next to it. So if you just get to know the colors that way, I'm sorry for the glare. Maybe if I do that... And this, I got to move the, there's a little piece of vellum I keep on my, there you go. And that helps with the glare. All righty. Petal pink is the first color. And I'm just going to kind of flip through them like this. This won't be a very long video, so just kind of go through each color. This is called Calypso Coral. And I'm just putting it, I'm just making it so it covers the whole screen. Lemon Lolly. This was one of our new colors from last year. Last year, we had a new color refresh. So we had lots of new colors. Okay. Soft Sea Foam. But I'm, just, I'm just reading off the list. You can see every one of our colors. Lost Lagoon. This was a returning color. It used to be a color years ago, 
Last year it returned. Very cool. We're happy about this returning color. Pool party. I love the combination of pool party and petal pink together, especially for baby projects. Look at those two. So the subtles play in a very nice role for baby showers and things like that. And so does the soft sea foam if you're trying to do something neutral. But this is good. All right, so that's pool party. And then we have balmy blue. That's probably really the fun. Okay, so Ginger's saying soft sea foam and pool party are your favorites. I was asking Ginger, but thank you for voting for soft sea foam and pool party. I was asking which color collection you wanted to see first, but thank you for participating. All right, so let's see. We got balmy blue, and then we have Highland Heather and Fresh Freesia. Hey, so Cindy loves the subtles the best. All right. Thank you, Cindy Shrek. Nice to see you. Okay, so Highland Heather, Fresh... Wait, do we do Fresh Freesia? This looks like bubble bath to me. Oh, no. When you put them next to each other, when you go like this, it looks like bubble bath. But when you pull it to the side, you could tell the difference between Fresh Freesia and bubble bath. Fresh Freesia is one of those colors that's in almost like every pack of DSP I pick out. It's always like... It's always something that's in every pack of paper, it seems like. Okay, and then we have bubble bath. So those are the subtles. And I'm going to go ahead and... Because like I said, I'm trying... I'm actually going to the post office today. I just... But I, I wanted to do a video because I was like, ooh, I'm sending a cardstock share. And I, I didn't really have any other completed shares. Because after this, I run out of like one color or another. I'll replace it with in colors, but it was just very hard to get every color. It was... A challenge. All right, so there you go. So that's the that's the subtles. All right, we're done with the subtles now. I'm going to do the regals. I'm going to go through every color in the regals collection, and we'll just work our way. Since you already voted for the one I've already seen, shown, and Dawn, you can still vote. Do you like brights in colors, regals? I'll show them all to you, but it's okay. Okay, Regals. Okay, Sheila's voting for Regals, so that's good. I'm already showing. So this is Cherry Cobbler. My favorite is the Brights. Okay. But I do love, I mean, I love all the colors. You know, if you see my ink collection, I have all the colors. Next is Real Red. So you can see the difference between the Cherry Cobbler and the Real Red. They go well together for holiday projects. Hello, Melissa from Texas. I'm just going over all the colors. We have Cajun Craze. Great for fall, as well as crushed curry. Okay, Dawn, since you voted, I will do the brights next because I wanted to do, I secretly wanted to do them next anyway. And while it's out, but look at the difference between the these kinds of reds and the red in the brights. See, there's a difference in the regals. All right, so now I'm doing crushed curry. All right, what do we do next? Uh, let's see, old olive, garden green, now, I like this green, but it's my least favorite green. But I love green, so it's not like I don't like this green. It's just my least favorite of all the greens. I like Old Olive and Shaded Spruce better. And Granny Apple Green and Lemon Lime Twist. I like all the greens better. But it's not my least favorite color, just my least favorite of all greens. Shaded Spruce is pretty awesome. I just used this in this month's Card Club. Shaded Spruce. Pretty Peacock. I'm so glad this is a, re a returning color. This was one of our ink colors, and it returned... And blueberry bushel used to be one of our ink colors, and it returned. So happy. This is such a fun blue. It's even, I don't know, it's even better than, pre well, it's probably just as nice as Pacific Point. Different, though. Way different than one that retired. And gorgeous grape. So those are the Regals collection. I'm going to go ahead and seal that bag up. No, no, you get the entire collection, Tracy. If you, if you do the cardstock share, you get to get the entire collection. All I was asking is, what do you want to see first? You get every everything I'm showing you. If you sign up for my cardstock share, you get all for 55 pieces, full sheets of cardstock. I don't cut it for you because I don't know which way you want to make your cards. All right, Regals. That's it. New, um, here, Brights. So I was just having you. So, yeah, Tracy, you can. Melissa said Regals are her favorite. Dawn said Brights are her favorite. So for the for Dawn, we're doing this for you. All right, so we are going through my favorite collection, which is Brights. So these, you can just see the difference between like, you know, a bright red versus a regal red. 
So much more fun, the poppy parade. Again, that glare. Here we go. I need you to see the label, but I also don't want you to see that silly glare. Not silly. I just need, I need the light for my videos. It's called a ring light, but it shines on things. Shine on. All right. Poppy prayed. Melon Mambo. Flirty Flamingo. That wasn't a stain in the cardstock. That was just a little little piece of dust. Now what I do is I pack these in boxes so you don't get, nothing gets crushed. These aren't this, I don't send them like I do catalogs in the soft palette, soft, um, soft pouches. These get packed in boxes or very carefully packed if they're in flat rate envelopes. I'd use, sometimes if you're on the West Coast, it's very expensive to send a box. But I do it as a labor of love. So this is pumpkin pie. And so I try to send a box whenever I can. Lemon, okay, Daffodil Delight. Oh, what a beautiful yellow color. Lemon Lime Twist. Oh, my favorite party color. Okay, these two are my favorite greens. I mean, look at these greens. <gasps> Isn't that fun? Lemon Lime Twist, an excellent color, a fun bright color, and then Granny Apple Green. Coastal Cabana. And then look at this beautiful blue that is a new color from last year, Azure Afternoon. Ooh, makes me squeal with joy. Okay, and then we have the last one of this. Poppy Parade is the only color I don't have. <laughs> Why don't you have it? We'll get the cardstock share if you want to try all the colors. And then we have Berry Burst. Oh, you don't have it on purpose. I see what you're saying. Berry Burst. If you like any of the colors I'm showing you and you just want to buy cardstock from my store and not get the share, Go right here. If you want to get the share, it's a way of sampling everything. And then I added in the shipping cost. And this would be, I'm, I'm using this year's prices. If I were to use next year's prices, the May 1st prices, in, in May 1st, if I do this, it's going to have to go up by $7, my cardstock share. Because I did, I did this with my, I do have a Grow Your Crafty business group. And we did a spreadsheet. We did a calculation the other day. And I realized that, I'm just shutting these as I talk to you. I realized by, by doing, by using this year's prices, I was able to save money on your cardstock share. But next year, I can't do this. I mean, if I, if I continue this with the new catalog, only at the beginning, this is not going to last. I can't keep this. This is only for my catalog launch. That's it. Once I stop it, I only do it once a year. I will stop this in May. Probably the 10th of May. But the price will have to go up. Because after that, I have to order the paper and it costs me more. The prices of all our cardstock is going up. Okay. We'll do the ink colors last. I'm just going to go ahead and... I'm just sealing the bags because once I seal them, I am ready to mail them. I know that they have all the paper that they need. The ones that are not sealed yet. I'm just going to make you one set so at the end I can just tell you. Whoops. That one. All right. So now we're going to do neutrals. And then we'll, lastly, we'll do ink colors, and then we'll be done. All right, so the neutrals collections I put with the basics inside. Oh, maybe I could do that. Maybe I could put the little. No. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. You guys you guys will be okay. I already know the color, so you guys can hopefully see that. Mossy Meadow. So see how this is a neutral color? It kind of, neutral means you can use it for many different styles of cards and, like, It'll take on the colors that it, you put it with, especially if it's a gray or a brown. But also our designer series paper has neutrals in it. So like this one is really nice with earth and elegance. This is Misty Moonlight. Another really cool color that returned. I was so happy. This is a staple color. Night of Navy. It's been around for a long time. And I think it'll, it'll be one of those blues that stay around for a long time. So it's in our basics collection. Blackberry Bliss used to be in our Regals collection and now it's in our neutrals collection. So I accidentally gave some away thinking it retired last year. So I put this in my, I put it in my mystery surprises thinking it retired. And someone was like, you know, it didn't retire. It's just not part of Regals. It moved to this neutrals collection. I was like, oh, so some of you guys got, extra, got current paper in your retired surprises. Well, let's see. This is called Early Espresso. So this goes really well with our coffee paper. Let me show you a little coffee cup. 
This paper is called A Little Latte. So if you, if you haven't checked out The Little Latte online exclusives yet, we've been doing a lot of cards on my channel this month with The Little Latte. Okay. In fact, I'll show them to you at the end of this real quick. Why not? All right. So this is Pecan Pie. That was a new color from last year as well. Crumb Cake, another staple returning color. My hand is sticking. Okay. Gray Granite. It's more of a pinky gray. It's like, see the difference in the grays? You got gray granite. I'll compare the three. Smoky Slate and Basic Gray. So this is, look. I think this one takes on a pinkish tone. And then this is like, I call this like a proper gray. The Smoky Slate. And then this is like, Basic Gray is a little dark for me. All right, now we have a new color. So I put the bit, that was the neutrals. I'm done covering the neutrals. Now I put the basics in this just to save on bags because this is an expensive thing that I do each year. I buy labels, I buy bags, and I did put these two together. But I wanted you to have separate bags for your other collections. But I did put these together. My husband helped me assemble this. So the neutrals go in with this bag. So you have your basic beige, which is our new color. It's one of our new colors. And in addition to the five new ink colors, it's one of our new colors. And it's very different from very vanilla, as you can see. So very vanilla is next. It's a very, it's a thin very vanilla. Our thick very vanilla is retiring. And I think it may already be sold out, but I'm not sure. The, the thick one's retiring but to make cards with, but this one's thin for layering. And then we have the basic white. This is the thin version of basic white. I gave you that version. And then I give you a sheet of basic black. And then I give you a thick basic white in case you want to use it for card making. So that way you can feel the difference. See, I love feeling paper. And then that's it. That's, that's your neutrals and your basics. We're going to end with in colors. Let me just close this bag. Knowing that I've finished packing it. Somebody would be happy to get this in their happy mail. Put that over there. All right, now we're gonna do the ink colors. I have to print out some more stickers with my label maker. And I'm, the colors are over here this time on this side. So we have, these are our five new ink colors. So you're gonna get the five new ink colors that are good for two years. And then you're gonna get the five returning colors, returning ink colors. Okay, this is called Peach Pie. I love that. I love it, love it, love it. Petunia Pop. I'm going to show you what I made with these ink colors in just a minute, okay? Let's see. Pretty in Pink. Shy Shamrock. And Summer Splash. Now, here's some things. If you missed the Scan and Cut tutorial I did on my channel, I showed you how to create these in-color Hershey Nugget treats. And I decorated them with our new ephemera packs. So you can see how fun these are. And I added a couple extra colors. Hello, Christina. Thank you for being a channel supporter. And I'm just going through all the color collections. And letting you sign up right now. For, once a year I do this offering. And I put, the, I put that it's Hershey Nuggets with almonds on the back so that you know that there's nuts inside. All right. Okay, I said Summer Splash. Okay, we left off there. Now, the next five ink colors for this collection are called Copper Clay. These are more of the earth tones. Okay, so this is a tie. My two least favorite colors are Wild Wheat and Moody Mauve, and they're both part of this collection. There's a tie between, I don't know which one I... But anyway, this is called Wild Wheat, but it looks cool with certain things. It's just not my, not my thing. I do love the Boho Blue. It's really cool. Moody Mauve, uh, not so much, but hey, to each his own. Color, color puts people in different moods and, pe and Pebble Path. So you can see that although they're not like the cheeriest colors, look how well they go together as part of an in-color collection. So you see like that. Hi, Diana. Nice to see you. Thank you for popping on. All right. So that was those colors. And I'm going to go ahead and seal the bag. Even though it doesn't have a sticker, at least I know. All right, so before I show you my cards I'm working on this month with my latte, 
I just want to tell you, so my cardstock share, I'm just, I need to take everything off except for the share so you can see exactly what's included. That way, I don't want to confuse you by all the bags. Someone's like, do you just pick a color? No, no. So in the U.S., it's $42 including shipping, and it's going up after May, um, at the beginning of May, because I have to pay different prices, okay? The, yes, there'll be a DSP share, Sheila, Perkins. There's going to be a designer series paper share. I just can't advertise it yet because... First of all, I haven't priced it yet. I, I can advertise for it. Don't get me wrong. I will advertise for it on my newsletter, so be sure to sign up for my newsletter. But what I mean is I can't get the paper yet until May 1st. So I don't want you guys, like, signing up and paying for something when I can't even order the paper myself until May 1st. I'm not able to order it. The catalog's not live yet. Only I only have a certain number of papers. So I guess I'll do a separate video on what it'll be like and the pricing, but I can't actually offer it to you until the end of the month. Okay? So, yes, I'll have a designer series paper share. Yes, I will have an in-color club where you get to select, you know, pick all the in-colors. You'll get glimmer paper. You'll get ribbon. You'll get ink pads, blends. And there'll be different options, bling. But right now, only thing I can offer is a cardstock share because I can get this stuff right now. Okay? That's the only reason I can offer this one. All right. So, for $42, you get 10 okay, 25 because there's 15 in here, 35 45, 55 sheets of cardstock. Okay? This is what you're getting. And, of course, a little surprise. It's not a little surprise, but it's a surprise. And it's a survival kit for the catalog. I'm not even sure if I have any to show you with that. But you'll get, you'll get a survival kit. And if you want a catalog, you have to let me know because I'm, I'm assuming you might be a demonstrator and you might not need a catalog. So please email me and let me know if you need a catalog. You'll get that too because I'm already paying the shipping. And I do, buy, I do have to pay for my catalogs. They do cost money. So I will include that for no extra charge. Okay, so that's it. Now let me show you what I'm working on this month. So I have at, the, at my channel, you could have signed up for a bingo. It's, you can't sign up anymore, but this Friday night, I'm having a Zoom bingo, virtual bingo, featuring Latte Love Suite. And all the people in my VIP group already got the measurements for the cards. And their bingo kits are, should arrive this week. And that's it. We're playing bingo and we're making cards on a Zoom event. So that's what these three cards are. Also on my channel publicly that you can all see, we've made latte cards all month. I showed you how to make this latte note card and decorate the envelope here on my channel. If you missed that, if you missed this, we made this card as well. So it's a little latte designer series paper and latte love bundle. Okay, and here's another card we made a couple of days ago. So yeah, so check out all these things. And some of these cards are my friend's cards down there that I show as samples. So I've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've made nine so far. <laughs> and I'm still making them. So that's what's featured this month. Also, this month we're featuring Pets and More on my channel. So if you like a catalog, these are no longer free because it, it was costing me way, way too much to be able to... It, these actually cost me... Seven six dollars and thirty three cents. If you're like in Florida or even you know, somewhere close to me, I'm in Georgia. But sometimes it's even more to ship these. Well, it depends. It depends on what I put with them. So I don't want to say that it's always cost that much. But I'm only charging two dollars if you want to request a catalog, and that's just to help offset the cost. It's not. My husband said you're losing money. I said it's not really because I'd rather give these away for free to my customers, and I am doing that. But I just cannot keep giving them away for free. So I'm going to keep that catalog form up on my site in case anybody wants to get a catalog. All right, so that's all. And I will have, if you sign up for my newsletter on my site, you'll be notified of when. Yeah, uh, Janet, they didn't really choose which May kit yet. It keeps on tying. So Janet's asking about the May kit. It's tied between Unbounded Beauty and Seaside Wishes. And even with 18 votes, there were 16 votes it was tied. Then there's 18 votes. It's still tied. I did ask my new newest card club member, Yvette, if she would break the tie, and I sent her the survey. But I don't know if she took the survey yet. Maybe she can break the tie for us. So, yeah, I want to know what the next set, you know, the next one will be. All right, so that's all for now. This is the Paper Chef. I'm off to pack some more Happy Mail. Have a great day.